here's vlog two. Um, I mentioned uh, this vlog and um, maybe this one. I'd have to watch it from February 18th, the first day that the uh, power was returned. Um, I sort of dissected my own initials. Uh, lowercase d can be turned into a b on a math chart. And it's the second letter, so Roman numeral 2. And it looks like an 11. And then also on a math chart, the p um, can be turned into a q, like the old saying p's and q's. And so it sort of looks like a 9. Uh, so 9 and 11. Um, and that was, in this video, me figuring that out uh, in real time. It wasn't like a lesson or something, but um, anyways, it might be something to do with that video too. I'd have to watch it to see. Uh, there were a few things that, um, so I'm just watching the most recent uh, South Park episode. Um, what was I going to search? I was going to search Hollywood. Because they mentioned the Hollywood elites, I can't even think of how to spell it. Is that right? Hollywood. But what, it's ultimately um, referencing is Hollywood, Virginia. And there's a mass grave there of people from the Civil War. Uh, there's 10,000 um, people in one grave here. It has a lots of... Um, very significant people at Hollywood Cemetery in Virginia. And so it was established almost an entire century before Hollywood, California became a thing. And the reason that Hollywood, California is so significant as far as movies and films is because Thomas Edison had all the copyrights for making movies, and they wanted to go as far away from him as possible to sort of flee his uh, legal teams. And Harry Houdini mentioned in vlog one of today had a similar thing for people trying to recreate his stunts. And most likely because they were so dangerous, too, his stunts. Um, here's just the history of it. So every time people are talking about Hollywood, they're ultimately referencing a civil war. It's a memorial to 18,000... Uh, Confederate soldiers. So a Hollywood elite would be sort of modern day Civil War elite. But the word elite itself, uh, to me, what it means to me um, is it's not very significant because it's such a new word. People weren't using that word until after World War II. So the idea is, can something really be blamed if it didn't exist until after World War II? I don't think so. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. So here I'm looking to see what were people talking about. In the 1800s, when people were talking about elites, there was not even an understanding of the concept. So in my opinion, um, elites can't be blamed because it's not even something real, in my opinion, just because it's so recent. Um, something about uh, World War II that I've mentioned uh, recently is the difference between the first world, second world, and third world. Um, so the first world is the United States and capitalists and all of their allies. The second world that's never mentioned is um, communist countries and all their allies. And then the third world are countries who aren't on either side. So anytime I try to search uh, third world, there's not a lot written about it because the communists and capitalists Capitalist Wars and the Cold War is a relatively recent thing. And anytime I try to search uh, Second World, all that it really talks about is the Second World War. And it's the same with First World, First World War. Um, 
that's what the references are. And what the First and Second World Wars uh, were about were about um, who is going to be like um, who is going to you know rule the world with military superiority. Um, so here's a mention even before the First World War about the Second World. Oh well, um, that's all for now. I'm sure there's a lot more in this uh, South Park episode uh, that I can talk about. Oh well, um, I think I'll make a video later about that.